bug of the month for October is going to be what we voted as a staff to be our favorite betas or blue winged olive dry flies. So there's a tandem pair here. This is the adult uh, blue wing olive emerger, Antonio's adult blue wing olive emerger. It's tied on a fine wire hook. So just a little bit of tension will get good hook penetration and it floats upright and is very easy to see and catches fish. So that is the adult version that lays very flat on the water right there. That's a great one to fish as you're seeing fish sip and their heads are actually coming up out of the water and you can physically see their heads. Now, the other one that I like in the same family that I'm gonna show you here is gonna be the emerger version. And the emerger version sits about like that right there. So part of the body is back in the water. Both are tied with a CDC wing and a little high vis section on the front so you can keep track of that little fly. But this one I like to fish when the trout are just sipping and you're really just seeing kind of a boil or just seeing kind of their back and their tail. Sometimes those fish can be very, very hard to catch but we love that blue winged olive emerger. As soon as we get some cloudy days, this hatch is gonna blow up here on the Yakima River, and it's gonna be like that on most rivers across the West. Now, when it comes to fishing these dainty little blue winged olives, there's a couple of tips I wanna give you. Naturally, casting skill has a lot to do with being able to place your fly very accurately in the feeding lane, and the feeding lanes can be very narrow on these hatches. So when you see a fish sipping, be diligent about throwing a few drifts just short of that feeding line. Figure out the currents before you really go for it and run that fly down that lane. It's the end of the summer. These fish have had a great education, so they're the smartest they're going to be all year uh, in the fall. To go along with that and help you get a great drift down this current lanes, having a leader that's really made to be flexible and has a skinnier butt section is really important. Rio makes some great products. The Supple Flex Leader in like a nine foot three X is great. If you're like a, a beginning to average caster, the nine footer is gonna give you the most control. It's great out here on this river. It's fairly choppy. If you're fishing in big, wider, slick areas like the Missouri River or areas where the fish are very selective and it's very glassy, the 12 footer in the six X is really great to have. And these leaders allow that fly to meander and float making a very natural presentation. Now, as far as flotation goes, being able to see these little bugs is very critical, okay? You have to be able to see it to know where it's at. I start with, uh, generally, I'll start with lock saw most of the time. That's great for CDC, great for this bug. It doesn't allow the fibers to stick together. Uh, it's very specific for CDC, so a great match for these flies. Uh, another way to go that a lot of people like is the fly dip. Um, and I can just dip the fly in there, let it dry, false cast it a few times. That one also works pretty good. Uh, if you'd like to total immersion float and the fly dip is the preferred product there. After you catch a couple of fish or that fly becomes saturated, you could put it in this top ride, put it in there, it's a desiccant, shake it up a little bit, that dries the fly, coats it out, false cast it a couple times to get the white powder off and that gives you a lot of buoyancy and really helps you see that fly so you can track it down. Uh, we've got a little discount on these flies all month at Reds. There's a link in the video description. They're fabulous for blueing doll of hatches uh, in the fall. Look at the forecast uh, in your local area because when we see cloud cover, this hatch is gonna pop. So be ready for it and good luck out there.